on today's decision from the FDA. We're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Uh, Dr. Nandy, good to see you. See you out there on the road joining us, and we appreciate it. Both Moderna and Pfizer's vaccines are based on the same technology. So is one superior to the other? It's a difficult question, right? They're both from the same technology, Glenda, but uh, the Moderna's uh, vaccines, two shots, right? It's 25 micrograms, and but the efficacy is a little less for Moderna. It's about 40 to 50 percent for symptomatic COVID uh, infection and, 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 and prevention of that. Now, when you look at Pfizer's, three shots, much smaller dose, but the efficacy for symptomatic infection decrease or, or preventing symptomatic infection in kids is up to 80 percent. Now, those numbers could change as we get more information. But right now, I, I think, listen, I think that you have to ask your pediatrician what's best for you. I, I would probably say the efficacy right now looks to favor Pfizer, but the numbers come in, that efficacy rate may come down. Well, experts are estimating like three quarters of all children have already been infected. Do you still recommend getting our youngest children vaccinated? And if so, when can kids start getting the shot? 100%. You know, my, my two-year-old, you know, I, I always talk about him. He'll get, as soon as we get the approval, the CDC, we will get him vaccinated. And so people say, well, what, you know, three quarters already in, infected. Why should we uh, even even bother to get the vaccine? Remember, the, the protection from the vaccine, I mean, the protection from the infection actually will wane over time. So we have to remember that. And, and to me, 442 kids have died. That's way too many. One of the ba main things I like about the vaccine is that you can prevent hospitalizations and death. So that's why I really would recommend that you get the vaccine. I'm going to get it, and I, and I think that we should look at the information from the CDC. It's not a done deal yet, right? So the CDC has to give their approval. And hopefully by June 21st, we should be able to get the shots to our youngest ones if it's approved by the CDC. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We'll see you again shortly. Oh, that sounds good. Thank you. And if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com, or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter, and we'll get it right to him.